I don't know if that's gangster or just messed up. Finish off one bottle and open up my other bottle without saying nothing. Check out those lenses. Shout out to Iran, South Carolina. Much love. I think we got some uh, oh, booty shaking party I can't see. Probably over there towards Envy. Envy's like, uh, you know, that way. That way, no direct way there, but that way a little bit. But it's just to show, no matter where you live, kinda, in Sasua, you can have the best building, but there could be a lot of parties in the building or house across from you, or to the left, or to the right, or in back of you. On any random day or night, you just don't know. You can't always control that. You know, um, like I know um, in the States, sometimes like when I would consider moving to a new place, you know, if I saw it in the daytime, I would do like a drive by at nighttime to see kind of what the energy was like or, or whatever. Um, but here you really can't tell on, on any given day. It could be different. I mean, granted, it is a. Uh, Labor Day weekend, Dominican Labor Day weekend, but that's just like I say, you unless you're isolated in the countryside, you just never know, you know. You you can't let me say you can't pick your neighbors. <laughs> been a while since you heard one of them hard R rolls like that. So I thought it was about time. So make it proper, make it proper. Hit the thumbs up, hit that sub if you hadn't already done so. Thank you to those that have. And thank you for those that, <laughs> for those that don't like the church, but keep coming back to the same church. That's, a, that's an analogy that I heard from uh, Rome Will recently. You know, people, people got something negative to say, like, like they don't like a particular video or whatever. Like, ah, more, it's more of the same old, more of the same old, blah, 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 Rico. But yet, if you don't like it, why you keep coming back? <laughs> don't go to church if you don't like the church, bro or ma'am, or dude in the dress, whatever. Ah, uh, so, got a few updates in no particular order. Now, yeah, a little interesting story though. The other night, cause I wanted to, wanted to show a friend of mine that lives in Puerto Plata that, you know, a, a bar that he wasn't aware of in Sosua. Kind of late spot. So we went over there. And when I come in, young lady calls my name out. And I'm like, she's pretty, very pretty. I cannot place it though to save my life. Hair, makeup changes, weight loss, weight gain. Can't always keep up. Maybe the body counts high. I don't know. So. She comes over and sits by me after a little bit, you know, and I'm like, you know, I don't, I'm not really looking for company right now or nothing, but I'm going to let her sit there till I figure out who she is without me having to ask. So one thing leads to another. The next thing I know, I'm home. We're home. I come out the shower and... There's a big wine glass full of rum sitting on the nightstand. Not for me, for her. So if I didn't know who she was before that moment, well, the body gave it away, but also the rum on the nightstand kind of kind of was another another clue. 
I mean, I think that's some kind of gangster shit, you know? The chicks that, you know, a lot of them, they'll drink beer or they'll drink vodka or something once in a while, but when they could just like fill up a glass with rum, straight rum, and drink it, it's kind of gangster. They can drink most of us under the table, let's be honest, self included. But at like 5 a.m., after she left, I look on the counter and I'm like, oh my God, this one bottle is bone dry and the other one was opened without me knowing. I don't know if that's gangster or just flat out disrespectful. But either way, shout out to me, Rico Toro. So, you guys may have already seen some videos, pictures floating around, other YouTube videos uh, about the Congrejo Bridge. It's the bridge on the Highway 5 that leads from Puerto Plata all the way through Sasua, out the Cabarete, and beyond. So... That bridge, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's very damaged right now, to say the least. I'm not an engineer, and I haven't personally been to the site, but I think they're gonna need to do some heavy-duty engineering work to fix this. And you know, of course, there's logistical issues. Um, right now, simple transit. Those that do not drive, it's pretty simple. You, if you're leaving Puerto Plata, for instance, you take the public car or a taxi to Montiano, and at the end of the bridge, taxis will walk you across the bridge where there will be waiting taxi or carito on the other side. Um, and it can be pretty busy at times. Uh, yesterday, one of my ladies was on the way from Puerto Plata and she sent me a picture that there was a long line of people on the bridge waiting for the cars to justify her being a little bit late, a little bit. She was still only 20 minutes late because I got standards. You gotta have standards for them and yourself. Like, she knows don't be late. Don't play with my time. Like I said, we're 20 minutes late considering all the logistical issues. And so, for some people, the commute is not much longer when they're not driving. But for those driving, they have to take that, that mountain, kind of rugged terrain road uh, through the woods, over to, across the river and the lake and the eve of molasses. Um, and if you get behind some trucks or heavy duty equipment that's moving really slowly, it can be like a two hour ride. However, some have left early in the morning or late at night and been the only ones out there and it didn't take them that long. So it's just a logistical thing. And yeah, you know, right now I'm waiting for instance for some new contact lenses Coming from Santiago. So they've been delayed a few days because they have to come up by truck or car or whatever delivery system is in play. So yeah, there are some logistical issues. Um, you know, this week, Friday, I'm leaving out of Puerto Plata Airport before it closes on Sunday for about 10 days. I'm coming back before it opens up through Santiago. And from Santiago, one or two things will happen to or from Santiago. You got the, the mountain road that comes up through Mocha and it comes into Sasua um, from the Cabarete direction, not from the Puerto Plata. That's sort of the workaround, but all, you know, I've heard the road is treacherous, it's pretty rough. Um, if you're an amateur, I wouldn't recommend it uh, if you're driving. And um, there's a lot more amateurs driving into Sua now anyways because 
ever since Anvi and the casino became the late spots and the beach is far, things are just further apart. It's not as walkable as it once was, but that's another conversation. So, um, you know, I'm thinking when I come back, I'm going to have one of my Puerto Plata um, contacts pick me up at Santiago and probably just drive me to the bridge at Montellano and I'll walk across the bridge and catch a taxi or carrito the rest of the way home rather than paying a possible premium. I don't know the logistics, the pricing yet, but word is that taxis will be charging a whole, whole lot more if they're taking that mountain road from Santiago Airport to Sosua. So more to come on that. So, um, that's the, those updates, but you know what? Sasua is still great, still ladies. Uh, some places this past weekend were a little weird. Way too many dudes and not many ladies in certain establishments that normally have ladies. Um, but I'm not going to dumb it down for you. I'm not going to, you know, you guys have watched enough footage between me and everybody else. Shout out to you, my chubby chatter. To you, my Santiago. Check them out. Show them some love you haven't already. So they, um, you know, by the liquor store, um, the Chica Hotels, various other bars and establishments. Ladies are all over. So just because you don't see them right in front of you on Pedro Asante, or in the obvious, you know, um, be respectful, tourist locations, hunting grounds. Just because you don't see them there doesn't mean they're not there. You know, you just have to move around a little more, shake it up, you know, razzle dazzle, shake and bake. They're there, you know? Also establish your contacts. Establish, practice a little relationship management, you know, before you come sometimes. And take good care of those that took good care of you before. You know, they'll, they'll take good care of you. They'll remember you. You know, remember those that took good care of you. Save their numbers. You know? Cash app is in the description, by the way, if you're feeling generous. Two dollars. Thank you very much. Email is there. If you want to contact me, link up directly when you come in for your trip. Like I say, I'll be gone from May 6th through like the 18th. But hope to see some of y'all Memorial Weekend. More to talk about, y'all. Boom. Thank you very much. Rick up door.